Oh, hello. Thank you for joining me for Veg with Lisa live. I am Lisa. This is obviously live. My hair is wet. I'm 10 minutes late. Have you ever had one of those days? Before I jump into my favorite smoothie recipe and why I don't necessarily recommend that you eat smoothies, please type in the comments, say hi, let me know that you're here, even if you're watching the replay, so that I know you didn't give up on me. Emily, oh, I'm so glad you're in the house because I know you like to eat smoothies sometimes. Okay. Ellie, the Sweat Sisters are here. Ellie, I wonder if you like to make smoothies. So today we're going to talk about my favorite smoothie recipe, why I like it, and then why I don't necessarily recommend that you eat smoothies on a regular basis. Now, one of the reasons that we tend to like smoothies is because we might be having a day like the day I'm having, which is why my hair is still wet, because they're easy. They're convenient. They're great to have on the run, right? Well, that is exactly one of the reasons why I don't necessarily recommend that you eat smoothies on a regular basis because they are too easy to have on the run, which means that we tend to slurp them instead of taking our time. 20 minute meal, anyone? Chewing in general, it's better to eat your calories rather than drink them, especially if you are trying to lose weight or control your blood sugar. Another reason I don't really recommend smoothies on a regular basis is the blood sugar issue because this thing, you know, you probably learned all about pulleys and levers when you were in elementary school. When we use a tool, it makes the work easier. These things, whether it's a Vitamix like I'm going to use today or a blender, they do a major part of the digesting for us. So there's not quite as much fiber that needs to be broken down in our bellies. So it's more of a hit to our blood sugar. But never mind. I want to show you my favorite recipe anyway, so that if you want to make, make smoothies, you can't. Stay tuned. I forgot to pull my stuff out of the freezer to show you. Okay, so I'm back. One of, so this I call my blueberry superfood smoothie. And that is one of the things that I love about smoothies is that you can put all kinds of cool superfoods in them that you might not eat otherwise. I always start with frozen nanner and make sure that you peel your banana before you put it in the freezer because otherwise it's going to be pretty hard to peel. And then I've got some blueberries. I also put these in the freezer, but you wouldn't have to. These are fresh ones. Believe it or not, my next door neighbors have these most amazing blueberry bushes. And I picked these with my very own hands. And then I put them in the freezer this morning just so they'd be nice and slushy and icy for my smoothie. You can use fresh blueberries. You can also just keep a bag of organic wild blueberries in the freezer. That's what we do too for if you get caught without a next door neighbor with blueberry bushes. Uh, I hope I don't need to tell you that blueberries are loaded with antioxidants. I'm happy to, even if I do. Great for brain health. Don't be afraid of blueberries. Fruit does not make you fat. Neither does this banana. Okay, so I've got a frozen banana. Freeze it ahead of time. It just makes it nice and creamy and decadent. I've got some blueberries, some non-dairy milk. And if you have seen me or heard me before, you know I preach Read the labels. I did make this. It's homemade cashew milk. You don't have to make your own. If you're going to buy your own non-dairy milk, make sure you read the labels because they are some of the worst offenders for things like sugar and canola oil, aka rapeseed oil, gargum, all that stuff. People are often shocked when they realize what's in their milk. Okay, what else? Protein powder? No, not here. Now, some people might have their own reasons for protein powder. Most of us don't need it. Again, if you are using a protein powder, read your label because they also are just loaded with crap. I'm just going to use some fresh almonds instead. Good source of protein and a good source of antioxidants, right? Really, really good. Real whole foods whenever possible. Let's see, what else am I going to put in this one? This is, here comes some of the superfood. And because I like chocolate, I'm going to put a whole tablespoon of raw cacao powder in. Mm, it is indeed a superfood. And because I really like chocolate, I'm also going to put in 
a teaspoon of cacao nibs. Mm, basically raw chocolate without the sugar or the dairy. All right, and here's where the fun stuff comes in, the personalization. You can add some really cool powders and superfoods. This is another reason why I do like smoothies because otherwise, when are you gonna eat maca? Yeah, maca is a fantastic Peruvian superfood that is said to help increase your libido, boost your energy and your endurance. Maybe that has something to do with the libido part. Your mood, it can help improve your blood pressure, fight free radicals, improve menopausal symptoms. It's good for your brain. Why not eat some maca, right? And I've also got a pinch of salt just to bring up the flavors a little bit. And then purely optional, but I like to do it. Drop of vanilla, pure vanilla extract. Okay, so you may or may not be able to see what I'm doing here. I am fortunate enough to have a Vitamix. Um, if you don't, you can use a high speed blender. And I'm just gonna blend all this stuff up. So plug your ears. should be good let's check it out you know I have a total a terrible confession to make I forgot one of the most important reasons that I like this smoothie and I, I usually throw a handful or two of fresh spinach or kale I just plain forgot to get it ready this morning before my show I'm telling you I'm having one of those days so you can pretend here goes the kale here goes the spinach I know Emily probably likes to put some sprouts in hers as well oh my gosh this is gonna be so cool. Where's my glass? I had it already. Ah, oh, so I get it. I get it. Oh, look, this is gonna be amazing even without the spinach or the kale. I get it. Smoothies are convenient. They're a great way to get lots of antioxidants, lot of powerful things. Oh, Ellie says she loves her oyster, oh, oyster, oster, oscar smoothie blender. Cool, good to know. You could use a Nutribullet. I love my Vitamix. Anyway, as I was saying, smoothies are a fantastic way to get a lot of great nutrients. Blueberries, maca or other superfood powders, cacao, cacao nibs, spinach, kale, sprouts, throw it all in there. But remember, it's super easy to slurp a lot of extra calories. I know we're not counting calories, but some of the smoothies that you buy at Smoothie King are probably a day's worth of energy, right? And if you're trying to watch your weight or if you're concerned about your blood sugar, smoothies do some of the work for your digestion system. And so it is kind of a hit to the blood, the blood sugar, which I know some of you are trying to avoid being on that blood sugar roller coaster. But oh, but let me taste this. Mm. You know what? It's absolutely delicious, even without the spinach or the kale. If you are thinking about sugar and your own personal sugar dragon, have I got a deal for you? My friend Stephanie Moore, who is an Ayurvedic health coach, we're hosting Nourish Yourself While Slaying Your Sugar Dragon, a three-week coaching intensive and it starts next week we're going to talk about why you may or may not want to eat smoothies and juices hydration sweet tastes without all the processed sugar and all kinds of other fantastic things i'll post the link to more info in the comments but in the meantime i'm going to slowly slurp my smoothie mm -hmm. thank you for joining me for veg with lisa live cheers <laughs>